First Alert Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankoski. Well, it is a cold one out there. We're only at 11 right now in Burlington, 10 in Plattsburgh. We also have a lot of single digits still on the map. Eight in Messina, three in Newport and six in St. J. There are a few more clouds over the Northeast Kingdom, but hey, if you're in the Champlain Valley, it is a gorgeous day out there, especially if you're inside looking out. But look at these wind chill values. We have single digits in some parts of southern Vermont. You go all the way up to Lindenville. It's 15 below 18 below the wind chill right now in Montpelier. So through this afternoon, we're looking at wind chill values remaining in the single digits to perhaps as cold as 20 below zero. The temperature trend does show that it's a fairly constant temperature going forward. We'll probably add another degree or two this afternoon. But even though we're close to 10, again, the wind keeps blowing out there, so it remains cold. So the forecast shows a lot of sunshine, especially in northern New York, the Champlain Valley and southern Vermont. A few more clouds mixed in in the Northeast Kingdom. It is certainly breezy, even windy in some cases, and it's very cold. We're going for the high of 13 in Burlington. The average is 29 for this state. We will cloud up late in advance of our next system. Speaking of that next system, here it is. I could call it a clipper system, but we have a warm front here and most of the snow is out in advance of this warm front and that is going to move in late this evening and last for a good portion of the day tomorrow. So we'll play future cast through. It's dry with a lot of sunshine this afternoon. Here's 11 o'clock tonight. The snow starting to move in portions of northern New York, also southern up through central Vermont, and it ultimately covers the entire region by early tomorrow morning. Here's 5 a.m. as we come on with NBC5 News Today. And the snow will generally be light. It'll diminish in coverage as we go through tomorrow. We'll still keep the clouds and the snow in the light snow. I think a general one to three inches will do in this first batch of snow and it's very fluffy, very easy to just brush off of your car. Now we have a second system that comes in on Sunday and that one looks totally different. Here it is late Sunday morning. That's when the snow starts to move in. We'll call it midday for now. And I think it's a steady, perhaps heavy snow at times region wide. Now, the nice thing about this for forecasters from a meteorological standpoint is there should be no mixing involved, no sleet, no freezing rain. Uh, we've had to deal with that for so many storms this year. Right now, this one looks all snow and it lasts into the morning on Monday before it slowly pulls away. It'll also turn very gusty on Monday. We call this Bombo Genesis off the coast of Maine. The storm just rapidly strengthens. So I think the heaviest snow will be in Maine. It misses us. It takes the storm a little while to get going, but I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of us pick up at least a half foot of snow Sunday into Monday. That's just an early thought. So we have the light snow tomorrow. Not a big deal. 28 up near freezing on Sunday that snow moves in around midday and it falls at a very good clip Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening and Sunday night. So travel not recommended later on Sunday. It lasts through early Monday at least. It'll probably pull out uh, quite slowly as it really strengthens there off of Maine. Hey, Valentine's Day on the five day forecast plus two. That's on Tuesday. It looks dry. So if you have plans, that's good news. A dinner plans on Tuesday we will go for a high of 30, a really nice day on Tuesday and then perhaps a couple snow showers on Wednesday and Thursday of next week. That's my latest first alert forecast. David, back over to you. Thanks, Tyler.